Now we're talking business, and in particular, we're going to be focusing on the aqua um, cultural sector, uh, our fishing industries. Uh, I've, been, I've got on here right now that uh, our exports of uh, earning from that fish averages about 60 million US dollars annually. I don't have the statistics for the imports, but I'm sure it definitely outweighs uh, when, when, when you put it next to our, our, our our, our exports. So now I want to actually ask, we know there's a lot of issues when it comes to fisheries. What is the growth? Where is it going? I can't answer those questions. I have with me um, from uh, uh, Goshen Fishery Limited. He's the CEO, Mr. Manson Token. Good morning. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here. Okay, so I have a lot of statistics here about fish. I just want to kind of um, just give some out. Like it says here, um, we have all right, this one. According to statistics, over a period of four years, Ghana's fishing yields increased considerably from 105 uh, hundred tons in 1967 to 230 hundred tons in 1971. Moving on now, um, currently, 20 years later, uh, the sector has grown and is estimated to contribute 3% of our total GDP. Um, but let me ask, a lot of times we know, talking, even when I go to restaurants, I'm talking to people, there's a huge disproportionate number of our exports compared to our imports. 60 million um, exports. I'm sure our imports will be hundreds and hundreds of millions. Hundreds of, million. hundreds right. of millions. You're right. Why? We yeah, have ponds, we have sea. Why? Yeah, it's because uh, we, we have a generic problem in Ghana. Just like the breakdown of our infrastructure, we don't plan. Mm. Now, Ghana is import dependent which is one of the main reasons why we are where we are today. I mean, from independence, uh, I think uh, our leaders didn't plan very well. Uh, otherwise, by now, we, we should be exporting. There are so many things that, do you know that we even import toothpick? Oh, yes. Oh, it's yes. outrageous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So... Uh, it's been a fundamental issue. That is the reason, one of the reasons why I, as an individual, I'm into fishing right now. If you know my background, uh, I don't have any business to be in fishing mm. because I am a chartered accountant. I, I'm a chartered banker. I was a managing director of a bank and I retired in 2011. Oh, wow. But fishing now is, is my passion. Uh, just to digress a little bit, I went into fishing because I saw the gap the consumption that we Ghanaians need to have, the protein content that we need to have. And what the fisher folks, uh, the marine fisheries and the, the, those who are our local fishermen, I, I know what they produce. Mm. And the huge deficit, even our imports, is not able to fill in the gap. Wow. So okay. we need more imports we or do. more local? We, do. we have a huge deficit. Okay. And Ghanaians are known all over the world to be consumers of fish. I think that's the main reason why they are important. Instead of developing locally, if you look at the Volta River, which God has given to us, is the largest man-made lake in the world. But we are not taking advantage of the river. And I can, I can, I can assure you that foreigners have seen the potential mm. and they are coming in their droves. Okay? So... Uh, it's a generic problem, like I said. Uh, so we are trying to uh, let people be aware of this deficit mm. so that we can all join hands and be able to, to produce more fish for Ghana. Okay, you mentioned, obviously, the Volta, which um, you know, is very instrumental when it comes to our, not only electricity, but you know, our, our fishing, part of our fishing industry. What is the, um, the depletion? Because we were told that there's a depletion of you know, marine life in it. How, how, how bad is this? It is because real? over the years, we have been fishing, even the kind of nets that we use, instead of allowing the very small, tiny uh, fish, mm -hmm. we, which we call fingerlings, mm -hmm. to grow. But we don't allow this, and we have been fishing all over. We did not think of fishing in the river. Mm -hmm. All our attention was uh, focused on, on, on the sea. And right now, it's almost getting exhausted. That's the reason why we are now looking at uh, aquaculture. Mm -hmm. uh, aquaculture, cage farming, as it were, simply put. That's the reason why most of us are now 
using the the Volta River, which is just there. It's only the local fisher folks okay. who use uh, boats and some nets, which is nothing. It's just for uh, domestic consumption. Okay. Um. Talk, t tell me a bit more about the cage um, cage fishing. What is the difference with that and in, in the generic? the ones that we see the fishermen doing what, what, what's the main difference okay uh, the development of uh, aquaculture in ghana the ministry of fisheries has taken very uh, bold steps mm -hmm. and they even have a policy towards you know developing the aquaculture system now in the Volta river what is done is um, you construct cages now the cages uh, you can use wood you can use galvanized pipe you can use high density PVC pipes, you know, can use all that. And very simple uh, Archimedes principle. You construct the cages just like this, and then you put, you know, drums under them to suspend them over the river. And then you put nets inside and you culture, you know, fishes. For instance, uh, tilapia, okay. mm -hmm. you culture them for a certain number of months, say, by six I've months. actually been to one. I, I, I was... I, I w got to see one when they take it and they feed them when they're yes, ready. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. that is, 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 that, is that better? Because, I mean, uh, we're told of tilapia, for example, which Ghanaians we, we consume a lot of tilapia, whether yes. in Kobe form yes. or, yes. you know, in, in, in whatever form. Um, there's, a, there's Right now, Ghanaians are developing a taste for foreign tilapia, whether it's from China or so forth. I, I was even surprised. Which is I'm totally against. Well, I was even surprised we were, we were importing fish what, from China. Yes, from it, tilapia it, from China. It, it, it's ridiculous because we want the ministry to help the local folks who are developing aquaculture, raising up uh, you know, tilapia in Ghana. Mm -hmm. I can assure you that we have evidences of uh, all the uh tilapia that's being imported we know how they culture them and it's not healthy I, I've been told so that. our message to Ghanaians is that we should rather consume the local because it may be cheaper mm -hmm. but then it's not healthy okay mm -hmm. so the, we we are lazing the agriculture association of Ghana is we are lazing with the ministry, ministry in order to encourage people teach people how to culture uh, you know tilapia in cages some people even do pond construction mm -hmm. they construct it off the river and they bring water in into it so that is what we are using now to fill in the gap because if we don't continue to do that for a very long time to come the import bill of Ghana is going to be increased. We, we are even, you know, uh, talking to, to the ministry, or more or less the government right now, that they should reduce the importation. And whatever funds are available, they should rather use it to encourage the local, local people to produce fisheries. more. Yes. Okay, I mean, I'm almost out of time on this, but um, as somebody who is in the industry, what, what, apart from obviously you said, the, the, the government making it more easier what other things would you like to see maybe individuals do because if i go and buy my local tilapia at the at, at my joint I, I, there's no way of me knowing that this is a local tilapia yes. i would prefer to be eating local yes. tilapia yes. but obviously i'm sure to the woman buying her tilapia which she has to sell 500 or so yes. she wants the cheaper version exactly. so what can we do as consumers yeah. what, to help? what we should do is uh, to join hands with the ghana aquaculture association in order uh, to mediate uh, between the producers and also the ministry to encourage the local people you know to produce more because like you rightly said so somebody who is consuming doesn't know whether this is a foreign one except the taste i can assure you that the local one is much more tastier because of the way it is cultured so let's join you know forces with the uh, association and uh, with uh, the ministry to encourage you know those of us who are producing now that's what i think the consumers need to do okay all right yes. i want to say thank you mr tokono um ceo of we both goshen fisheries thank you for